Football Writers uh, honor Ryan with both Most Improved and Comeback Player of the Year. Uh, that it, nice to see him <coughs> get recognized with his production. Absolutely, you know I think that uh, any time that the team has success, uh, players get recognized. That I've learned I learned that as a player. I understand that as a coach, um, and I know that he'll he's very deserving. He's worked very hard. Um, he came in. He learned the offense. He supported Marcus. Uh, he's developed into a, an outstanding leader, uh, and, and he's done a great job for us. What impressed you most about his just ability to come in in the middle of the season and win the respect of the room? And well, they, it, it wasn't. Uh, he had had the respect of the room. It wasn't that he just um, all of a sudden popped out there in, in week seven. Um, I think that he was well respected by the way that he came in, worked him and Logan. Uh, worked hard with with Pat O'Hara, our quarterback coach, to to learn in the off season, and so I think that as he went through training camp and the, and the OTAs, um, you know, he began to to earn the respect of the players and the teammates. You don't have to be a starter um, to have the respect of your teammates. How do you feel the practice week went, and did having an extra day maybe help a little bit from a recovery standpoint? Well, I, I hope that it it may um, affect. How we feel, you know, it's 19 weeks in or 20, whatever we are. You know, understand what the, the toll is on the body. Uh, that these players, um, they practice hard, they play hard. We ask uh, that they play with great effort and finish. And so maybe it helps us an extra 24 hours. Um, I think that the preparation is still ongoing. You know, we get till till Sunday at 2:05 to to continue to prepare. The day. Well, Derek threw a pass last week, so they're probably counting him um, as the quarterback. Um, here's what I've told our guys about respect. The only respect that you need uh, or should ever try to earn is the, the respect of the players next to you and the ones across from you, not um, from you know, media, outside influences. Uh, this game uh, is played violently, physically, and I played with players that told me that, that you have to earn the respect of the guys next to you and the ones across from you. How did uh, Adam, Adam Humphrey's week come along after being out for a number of weeks there? Good. Good. I mean, he was able to get out there and do some work. I'm hopeful that he can, can help us, um, and we'll continue to evaluate him, um, but much better than than where he's been. He'll He'll, he'll be traveling with us, and but it was good to see him out there. Do you, uh, do you enjoy cold weather games as a player? I, I enjoyed all, every game that I played. Um, enjoyed them more when we won. Any <clears throat> benefit at all to, uh, to defense in those cold weather games? I think, I think what the benefit is is the, the team that, that executes. Um, again, is, is it cold? Is there snow? Um, is there wind? Is there sleet? You know, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just the temperature. Is one thing, but you know, you're gonna paint a better picture for me, and I can try to tell you who it would. You know, is it on turf? Is it on a frozen field? Is it a field that has heated coils underneath it? There are a lot of factors that go into it. How much you guys, cold or tired, or you? Just, it's been a long. I know you guys are tired of seeing me all week. How much of a mentally tough mindset develops when you know you got to go on the road each week? Well, I think that you have to be able to build that um, throughout the course of the off season and your practices and the way that you prepare. Um, that the games aren't always going to go the way you want. They're going to be tight. They're going to be close. You're going to be behind. You're going to have to be great in, in situations or four minute um, running the football. And, uh, so I think that that's a that's a build up and that's a process uh, to get there. Um, again, it, it our path was made easy by. You know, we were going to continue to play um, as long as we won. And, and I guess that we would decide when we were done playing by, by how we played. Hey, I know I'm not here a lot, but um, I noticed your hat said run, run the ball. What's the, what's the origin of that? Is, is this something that you're happy to be 
Well, they send me free stuff. There was a, uh, a, a you know, a hat in the off season that I that I stole from Hardy, um, and I liked it. It said "Run the damn ball," and then I got it for some of the players, and they sent me a hat, and I they didn't give me any more money, so I didn't wear the hat out here. <laughs>